Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. As you can see it's featuring uh, James Rodriguez and uh, I would say arguably Everton's biggest transfer of the summer um, if not ever for Everton and I think a lot of them, uh, a lot of the Blues will uh, agree with that one. What a coup that was uh, for Carlo Ancelotti and uh, Everton and he's uh, now playing at Goodison Park and yeah, absolute mega superstar from Real Madrid, and he's featuring today. And it's this outer glow, uh, this outer glow look. So it's a, a quick one, something nice and simple uh, for you to play along and learn. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So I'm going to press Command N because I'm working on a Mac, or you can press Control N if you're working on Windows. Now the width, I'm going to go with 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels for the height, and resolution, I'm going to go for 144. Uh, now I've gone for a black background colour, RGB 8-bit, and click OK. Now if you did have white selected, I'm just going to get rid of that padlock. OK, if you press uh, X on your keyboard, it'll reset your palette, press Command and Backspace, and it will fill that nicely. Next, I'm going to hit U on my keyboard for the Ellipse tool. OK, if you don't see it there, when it's highlighted, just hold it down. OK, and you get this little menu pop up and select the Ellipse tool. Now the fill, I've selected this blue colour. Obviously, for Everton, it's 0A47FC, 0A47FC, I'm going to click OK. If you're using a different team, OK, drag an image in and hit I on your keyboard for the eyedropper tool and select a colour. Now, if you're new to my channel, you notice I'm uh, talking about a lot of shortcuts. Um, it can be quite hard to remember them, but it increases your workflow. Uh, so try and learn as many... Uh, shortcuts as you can, that's a, a good recommendation that I would make. And the stroke, uh, we've got a negative stroke, so if you select it there, then we we'll click this little icon here, and that means we're not going to have a stroke, and a stroke is like the outside edge of your shape. Now I'm going to hold shift down, I'm going to drag, and I'm going to make it nice and big, probably something like that. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that, and I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to select the move tool, and I'm going to bring it up somewhere like that. I'm going to press Command T again, or Control T if you're on Windows, and I'm just going to grow it out, make it a little bit bigger. Something, maybe a little bit smaller because we want that glow. Something like that, so let's have a look. Yeah, that's probably about the right size. Okay, now we've got our uh, shape selected. Okay, I'm going to double click on that empty space in there. I'm going to go to Outer Glow, where are you? Just down here at the bottom. Okay, the passy, I'm going to bump up to about 80%. Okay, noise zero. We've got our blue colour. Okay, if you don't see blue there, just uh, select it and then drag over and use the eyedropper tool to select it. Just there. Technique softer, spread zero, and size, we're going to go for 250 to make it nice and big. Range 50%, jitter zero. I'm going to select OK. So now we've, uh, we've got our outer glow, as you can see, uh, that's coming around the edge there. Next, I'm going to bring in James Rodriguez. So I've got him here from 40renders.com, one of my favourite websites. Those familiar with my channel will know I use it quite a lot. And I'm just going to resize him somewhere like that. And I'm going to drag him down. Now if you notice, he's kind of want to just drag him across a little bit so his, his head's aligned. And I'm just going to raise him up a little bit there and bring him across. So something like that. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, next what we're going to do is have a look going to uh, put in our, our blue glow on him. So I'm going to select a new layer just down here. See it pops up above James Rodriguez. I'm going to hold Alt down on my keyboard and hover and you'll get this little symbol. Select that and that creates a clipping mask. So anything we do now on this image will only, uh, on this canvas will only show on the James Rodriguez image. Alternately you can just right click and select uh, convert to clip it. Uh, well I'll show you there. Right click and create clipping mask and obviously once it is a clipping mask it'll say release clipping mask. Anyway I'm going to select the blue colour that I had before so I'm just going over there to my swatches okay if not use the same one 0A47FC and I'm going to hit B from the brush tool I'm going to select a soft round brush and I'm going to bring the flow up to about 40% and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. This is the way the pixels will react underneath. And press Command Z there. Okay, just because of the nature of the kit, I kind of don't want to get it too much on the kit. So I'm just going to 
just brush over his face ever so slightly so he's got that blue tinge on his skin and his hair and his arms. Okay, it doesn't matter if it goes on his on his shirt too much. Okay, I like the look of that. Okay, that especially that effect there. Okay, it's going to be different for every player, so uh, take your time playing around with this. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use my bracket keys on my keyboard, nice and small. I'm just going to paint on that extra little bit of glow there. And now this is where I'm going to go over the shirt. I'm just going to paint along, switch on those logos there. Okay, that's looking good. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to select another layer um, above it. We'll try what it looks like. I'm going to clip that one as well. Hit D on my keyboard, hit X, or you can just hit X straight away. Just make sure you've got white selected. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing, but I'm going to bring the flow down to around 10%. And then I think we're going to put that underneath. Yeah, put it underneath. So uh, put your white layer underneath. And maybe not as strong when we go down to about five. And I'm just going to paint the glow on. What I'm also going to do at this point is I'm just going to use a few little highlights as well. So these uh, creases on his shirt, you can see there, just accentuating it. Okay, I'm liking the look of that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an outer glow to James Rodriguez. So I'm just going to click in that space again. I'm going to select outer glow. And this time though, the opacity I'm going to bring down to 35%. I think it was about 30% before. Something like that. Noise zero. Spread zero. And the size, I'm going to bring that down. So it's not quite as strong as a circle. I'll go for 125. 50% uh, range and 0%. Um, Jitter, and that's looking okay for now. Let's just have a look what else we've got in here. Yep, and then we're going to bring in the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to new layer there. Okay, hit T for my text tool. I'm using a font called Babish New. You can use whatever you like. And what well, fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ellipse tool and create a new layer. I'm going to put it behind his head. So just there underneath James, and I'm just going to type away. Rodriguez, I'm going to press Command A to highlight it, and then I'm going to drag this up here. No specific size. We'll go for something like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is got this layer selected here. Click off it, you'll see his name pops up there. I'm going to reduce the fill right down, disappears. I'm going to click that empty space again. This time I'm going to add a stroke. Uh, like I spoke about before, so this is like the circle around. So what we've done is we've got rid of the fill. We've got actually the actual image. We've reduced the fill of what it's made of. We've, we've got rid of that, and we've put just a uh, a uh, border around it. Size one pixel. Let's have a look at two two pixels. Yeah, I like the look of that. Got it on the outside. Blend mode normal. Pass it one hundred percent, and the color is white. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna press T for the text tool. And I'm just going to type James, Command A, and I'm going to leave this one whole. Reduce that size. And I'm just going to place it visually. What you can do is select Rodriguez. Should have some rulers at the side there if you don't press Command R, and they'll pop up. And I'm just going to drag a guide across, and then you zoom right in. You see it's not quite aligned, so I'm going to go to James. You hit V on my keyboard tool. If you want it in line with the border, just click out again. Command H gets rid of that. Command zero resizes the image. And yeah, I'm liking the look of that. So I'm going to come to the top. I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E to create a stamp visible layer. I'm going to convert that to a smart object. So that means we can edit it. I'm going to filter. I'm going to go to noise, add noise, 
I've gone for 6%, which I uh, used before. And click OK. I'm going to bring in a texture, dust texture. I'll find a decent one in the link in the description below. Just let this load up. OK, I'm just going to resize that up there. Go for something like that. Can't zero. Doesn't matter how you uh, use this. Hit enter. Now I'm going to change this blend mode to screen. I'm going to reduce the opacity right down. I'll go with 30%. While I've still got it selected, I'm going to create a layer mask. So I'm working non destructively now. Hit X on my keyboard so I've got the black as the uh, main palette. I've got a flow of 5%, so we'll bring that back up. 14. So now I'm just going to get rid of that scratch texture. There we go. Just going to paint just so it's a little bit clearer over, uh, over his head. And then the last little finisher, adjustment layer, I'm going to go to Exposure. Where are you? There you are. And the offset, I'm just going to select that. I'm going to nudge it up. It's going the wrong way. And you can just use it to your heart's content. And I'm happy with that one there. So I've gone for... 0.004. Um, get rid of that there. You can see the difference we've made. And I actually like the look of that better than this one before. Command zero. So there we go. There's uh, our quick outer glow image. Um, only a quick tutorial. Uh, I've just been playing around with it. Uh, saw an image on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate that. So hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please uh, hit that like button. If this is the first time watching my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Go check out my other videos. Um, heavily focuses on sports tutorials, sports edits, sports graphics tutorials for those who want to learn Photoshop through uh, sports edits. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in a tutorial very soon.